Hello all, I am Deep from Netlogs and for today's talk I am joined by my colleague Nikhil Malik. We are going to talk about the fascinating topic of how to synchronize eBPF maps for each applications. So why do we need this state sync? As we all know, eBPF is being used in a lot of stateful network applications like filtering and load balancing. It becomes a necessity to synchronize the state of these applications when deployed in HA pairs. When we talk about state, it basically means the information stored in eBPF maps. And if we look back traditionally, NetFilter and IP tables infra were used for Linux stateful filtering and contract D daemon would be used for synchronization of IP table contract entries. But we are in a new world powered by eBPF, so let's explore. The most straightforward way to achieve this would be to traverse all elements of a map in a periodic fashion. But of course, it would be too costly from a compute perspective. It would also be very difficult to track the exact changes taking place in the map inside the Linux kernel. So we need a way to act on async notifications on map events. And here, eBPF comes to its own rescue. We took the approach of using KPROP notifications applied at kernel's eBPF table modification functions. And furthermore, notify the user space of these events using eBPF perf or ring buffer. And at the user space, we can then tie these events with well-known reliable messaging frameworks like gRPC to make the whole thing work. Before moving forward, there are a few implementation specific things we need to mention here and which the audience might find interesting. K probes usually would grab events related to all eBPF maps inside the system, and this would cause a lot of churn. To reduce churn, the K probe kernel side program further filters events based on map names. Map names can be passed to the kernel side program using a different set of eBPF maps. For our current use case, we are, however, using K probes only for you know, hash entry points. Of course, it can be changed as per need. And one great thing about our implementation is that it is completely unaware of any map details or semantics. Hence, it can be reused by different applications. So the next question is, how does it fit into the bigger picture? We use this infra currently in another project known as Loxie LB, which is a eBPF based service LB for Kubernetes. It is used as an application agnostic sort of sidecar to synchronize eBPF maps on demand. There are a lot of resources online about this, which we have mentioned at the end of the talk. Next, we will talk about what kind of numbers we can expect from such a framework. And my colleague Nikhil will take it further. Thanks, Deep. Hello, everyone. I'm Nikhil from Networks. We took some performance measurements of LoxyLB with and without sync infra deployed in a single node cluster. Without sync infra, LoxyLB peaked at 232k connections per second, but we saw a dip of just 5% when we integrated it with the sync infra. Then we use network to benchmark connections per second and vary two metrics, page count and network threads. Initially, we saw some event drops, but it came to zero drops when we set the page count to 32k. These bottlenecks here are due to EPPF per buffer and its reader side implementations. Next, we compare two RPC infras to sync the connection entries to the peer. We observed that net RPC performance was better than gRPC. We intend to make these numbers better by doing some more optimizations along with integration with Kafka as well. This short video shows the synchronization of 50,000 concurrent sessions. Interested viewers can find the link to this video on the last slide. Over to you, Deep. Thanks, Nikhil, for explaining the performance numbers. They look interesting. Let's talk about future work. In future, we plan to make this whole infra auto-generate possibly by using Clang itself. And this will definitely help reduce a lot of boilerplate code for eBPF app developers. So we have come to the end of our uh, talk today. Thank you all for your time. There is a lot of development ongoing for the parent project, which is hosted at loxylb.io. So please go ahead and visit it. 
and recently it crossed 700 stars and 40k downloads so please give it a star on github and support our work if you like it thanks a lot